Today we will see how to use LibreOffice to make a web page. Now you can download LibreOffice for free. It is online, not online, offline, open source suite available. It is very similar to how um, the Microsoft Office works, but it is open source and free. Okay, I click the download button and download it. So to make a web page, we need to open a writer. Fine. Now, what I am going to show you is by creating a web page from a very basic one. That is not a very good idea to make web page right here in the writer. Uh, the best method is to learn HTML and CSS so that you can add or you know make the web page look the way you want. But still, a good option if you don't want to learn anything, but still want your information to be on the internet. Okay. So let us add an image first. This is the image, and we will change the way it adjusts with the text. Okay. Now let's add a heading. Every element I think in writer is like a block element. You need not to worry about it. It is uh, something for the you know experts. So let me just copy this text from Wikipedia, paste it, let us change the font face to Libra serif and font size to 12, looks good to me and now we will add a link, okay, so heading, not heading, say contact me. You can see these links are already here, which directly come from the Wikipedia page. But you can add on your own ones, okay? So let me just show you. The shortcut is Control K, or you can click this button right here, insert hyperlink. Write the URL. Let me write my own web page. Um, web page. The text is contact. Or below. Click on OK. You can see the link has appeared. If you hover over it, it will show you to press Ctrl key to visit the page. Okay, we will visit it from uh, after we have created the entire thing. Okay, uh, you can also add forms in this. I'm not really sure uh, you actually need to know this, but let me just show you anyway. Give email. Okay. Let us make it hiding. You have to go to this forms on the menu bar and add a text box. There you can see the text box is right there. Press enter and click on form. Let us add a button now. A push button. Double click on it and you can change the name here. Some label that will be what is being shown. Here you can see the different type of actions that you can add, not actions but events like when the key is pressed, when it is uh, released, mouse inside, approve action, this and that. Okay, a lot of things you can do. Fine, so this is the entire thing. We have added a simple contact me, uh, you know, link some form text image now go to save as and save it you can save it by any name let me just write main and save as type is html document give it a save and there we go it's created so this is the page that the, we have made the text here is not really you know, looking good so let us give, give it some space and check if it looks okay yeah it has got enough space now it was a simple enter key by the way uh, here you can see the form of course it doesn't look good but it is working that is what is important 
yeah the button is there the form is there and if we press on the contact us will link and yes my web page will open it and now if you want like to edit something you can do it please web page for example you receive refresh and you can see the title is updated fine this can be very good if you want uh, uh, to add some information for example you're working on something you've got lots of, lots of information and you just want to present it and also you can add tables by the way let me just show you you can even like make your own resume and then make it um, into a web page okay add a table let me add a simple table okay Serial number topic topic and give it a serial number data multiple lines can be added let me just check copy 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 let's see give it a serial refresh and yes there is the table so pretty handy i must say and the real code which is being done you can right click on it and click on the view source page and it will show you all the code that runs behind it very basic if you can understand it if you know a little bit about html and css but there is nothing to worry about okay let us check if it is responsive responsive means that if it looks good on mobile phones and yes it provides you know pretty impressive i must say looks good enough of course you can make it uh, you know much better by adding uh, extra line height making things bold okay there are a lot of options that you get so that's it